existed in the downtown east side of Vancouver for some time. The model of downtown east side has been spread right across the country. And for example, on the other side of the nation, Halifax, they have 30 homeless encampments. This is exactly the worst time to raise the cost of food. And that is why I am announcing today that I'm calling on NDP Premier David Eby and Justin Trudeau and Jen Singh to cancel the April 1st carbon tax hike, despite the hike and after tax. Pierre Poilier's adamant stance against the increase in carbon tax can be viewed as a testament to democratic ideals favoring fiscal prudence and minimal government interference in the market. By referencing Vancouver's downtown east side, Poilier suggests that the proliferation of such policies nationwide serves as a critique of socialist, liberal approaches, which are often blamed for exacerbating social issues like homelessness and poverty. Poilier's particular focus on the timing of the carbon tax hike, particularly its potential impact on the cost of living, underscores his genuine apprehensions regarding the financial struggles faced by individuals and families. His statements resonate with conservative doctrines that prioritize economic stability and personal liberty, while challenging government interventions perceived as onerous or detrimental to the populace. 